YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Beam NG Drive, and folks, things are looking a little bit different here. So anybody that plays this game knows that the main menu here is not the same, and that's because there has been a new update that has come out. It is Alpha 0.24, and folks, this is a big one. So we're going to start off here by uh, going into Free Roam, and you know what? We're just going to pick the good old West Coast USA. And uh, we'll spawn in here in the highway. So yeah, you're definitely noticing the menu looks different, but it looks different inside of the game too. All right, so here we are at West Coast USA, and folks, here are your two vehicle remasters. So you have the H series over here and the Pessima over here. And yeah, there's a lot of really awesome configurations that have come with these, including uh, obviously like an A-team van, and here's a new police car. Uh, we'll go over more of those here in a minute. Now, another thing that's changed, uh, there's been some updates with the graphics or the PBR, physics-based rendering. Uh, you probably won't notice it on the video and even in some maps. It's just one of those things where once you play it, you'll start to pick up that things are actually quite a bit more detailed. A lot of the uh, ground cover, uh, some of the trees and stuff. But yeah, we're not going to really cover much of that since you are watching it on YouTube. It's going to be compressed. The quality is not going to be the best. Also, I kind of rhymed there. So, besides the two remasters and some updated graphics, there's another big thing. So, I showed you guys the main menu and how it looks different. Well, this is the escape menu in-game, and you can see everything's been moved to the top. And there's a new tab here. This is called Map. So, check this out. When we click this, we get an overview of the current map. I haven't tried this with a mod map to see what it looks like, but I believe this is going to wrap a lot of the scenarios into the maps. So as you can see on the left side here, there's these uh, things called missions, which like I said, I believe they're the scenarios from the main menu. I could be wrong. Uh, you can actually create these in game uh, with an editor. We're not going to cover that here today, but this is something that's kind of wrapping the game up into one package, I would say. So no longer are you jumping to the main menu to go to different scenarios. It seems like a lot of that's going to be in the free roam mode. So yeah, this is really nifty. Like you can zoom in and out. Uh, you can move around. You can actually select the events. Uh, so yeah, that's really cool. I wonder if you could like create waypoints. Oh, you can. So yeah, uh, say we want to go. We're here on the highway. Say we want to go down to the docks. I can left click and I'll get a waypoint. That is awesome. But yeah, you got a mission list up here. Uh, you've even got like the bus driving stuff. Uh, that's all wrapped into here. And then of course at the top, you've got your mods menu. Uh, right now they're all disabled. Uh, you can enable them, uh, but right now with the update, I'm sure they're gonna be a little unstable. Uh, you got your vehicles menu, which hasn't really changed. Vehicle configuration, of course, this is where you change the parts. Environment, photo mode, UI. Everything's basically the same, and it's quite clean looking, so I do like it. So, it looks like we have a time trial in front of us. Is that what this is? Uh, we're going to skip that because I want to drive the vehicle. We will take on a mission uh, before we're done, and oh, look at this. Look at the road. Okay, the game froze when I hit the toll booth. It's weird. But yeah, you can see there's actual markers on the road now. So this is your waypoint. I'm assuming like if your vehicle has a GPS, which I don't think the H series and or the Pessima has a uh, GPS, I'm assuming it would show up on that too. But that's actually really cool to see. So this will kind of help guide you probably even like two missions and stuff. But I kind of thought the, uh, the A team band was going to be a little bit faster, maybe have some NOS in it. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. You know, we can always add it ourselves. Uh, let's go ahead and wad this thing up. Yeah! Oh, that was awesome looking. So, real quick, uh, before we go any further and go into a mission, I want to check out the H series configs first. We'll save the Pessima for later. Also, by the way, I'm not even sure if I'm saying Pessima right. Uh, but yeah, here's the H series configs. There's like a Street Tomb, like Scooby Doo mobile down here, which is kind of scary looking, and I might have to drive that. But up here, you've got like even, it looks like maybe extended versions of it, like church vans. Uh, there's a police van. A lot of these are just kind of remasters of previous configurations. You got like the lives out of the van version of it up here too. Yeah, there's some uh, weird stuff in here. We've got to get the street tuned out. So let's replace current real quick and see this. Oh yeah, this is like the Scooby-Doo mobile. The Curiosity Caravan. Uh, oh, that's weird. All right, well, let's see what a street tune one has. Oh, this one's got the GPS. 
Uh, okay, this one, it's actually not showing up on it. Also, the interior of this. Wait, there's like nothing in the back. I kind of figured there was going to be like a Chad couch or something back there. Uh, that's weird. Oh, dear. Okay. It's still an H series. It still doesn't turn. <laughs> it's a big, giant turd, but it is a very polished turd, and this is much appreciated because I love seeing all the remasters that the Beam and G devs are doing. So just because I call it a turd doesn't mean that I don't like it. Actually, now that I think about that, that sounds actually really weird. All right, and we're popping through the tunnel. You know what? Let's find a mission. Uh, of course, it's probably going to switch vehicles uh, when I do one of the missions. But here, let's pull up the map real quick. Which, by the way, I'm sure there's a hotkey for the map. Uh, where are we? That is our objective. We're over here. We're actually by a time trial. Uh, what is this down over here? Dirt track. So this is a quick travel. Oh, these are quick travel points. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. You know, you have to sometimes actually click on the icons. So if I click this, uh, quick travel here. Holy man, that was like some GTA stuff right there. It like zoomed down. That was cool. That's when you thought Beam and G couldn't get any better. Hold on. Folks, this might be the best feature. I want to watch that again. Let's do it over here. Uh, Chinatown, quick travel. Whoop. That's so sweet. So yeah, M is the hotkey for map. I just figured that out. I'm a genius. Who would have thought it would have been M? So if you look up here, there are bus routes that you can actually start up. Uh, let's start maybe a diner drift. So I need to put this as my point of interest and let's see how you actually roll into the mission itself. So yeah, I got my waypoint up here. Of course, like I said, it's probably not gonna be with one of the new vehicles. We still are gonna check out the configs on the other remaster. Which by the way, even in West Coast USA, oh, it looks pretty amazing right now. Oh, we completely broke apart this vehicle, it's fine. So like I said, I was noticing some of the difference in the graphics. I'm pretty sure you would notice a bigger difference, say out in like Utah, which we'll probably do another episode on the update soon and we'll go out there. But like I was also saying, you guys are still watching through YouTube, so you're not getting the full experience as far as what this looks like. All right, here we go. So if we go into this, how does this work? So I just hit more details and okay. So it just pops up here and I guess we're going to use the proposed car. Can I use my own? Uh, actually, if it's going to stick me with the van, let's use the proposed one. <laughs> I just thought about that. So yeah, you seamlessly pretty much load right into missions or scenarios. All right. So here it is diner drift. So I'm not going to do good at this. I just wanted to test this out. So yeah, uh, the scenario is all set up and ready to go. I am kind of curious about the editor. Like, can we do something with like police chases in that and set up big epic chases? Oh dear. See, this is why Komodo doesn't drift. Actually, this thing just feels like it's constantly trying to spin out. I guess this is why it's the proposed car. All right, here we go. Yeah, Komodo's drifting skills are absolutely questionable. You know, I can spin out really well though. Uh, there is that. Oh so yeah, we'll just go around through here. Okay, that's a little bit better. I mean, it's not pretty, but you know, it's somewhat getting the job done. I'm scoring points. So say I'm sick of this scenario. Do I just hit escape? Okay, so we go to abandon. Does it set us back in this car or back where we were before? Oh, it just popped us into the uh, other car on the map. Okay. So yeah, here's the Pessima's interior. Why does the my FOV feel like it's like really far back? I, like, I feel like my head is the headrest right now. It's kind of weird. So yeah, this is the police version of it. Hold on, can we light up? Okay, so my uh, light buttons or my uh, siren buttons are no longer M because it's the map. All right, well, I think it's still shift in here. So there we go. Uh, now they're lit up. Oh, that's beautiful. So yeah, the vehicle is actually from 1996. Uh, it does look very 90s. Uh, it's got that kind of weird bubbly looking sedan look. But overall, it's a cool car that they remastered, and there are some really, really awesome configs. Uh, but yeah, we will be doing police chases with this at some point. So yeah, here's the other uh, config series. Of course, you still have like the Turbo Burger. You've got the uh, Unpalatable, which looks like a demo burger car. Uh, you've got the Taxi, Police. Now you get down here, you've got some really cool ones. You've got a nice touring car, and then you have this rally car. It kind of reminds me of the uh, old uh, Supra rally car as far as the colors. Uh, let's check out this touring car real quick. I'm curious as to uh, how this thing handles. 
Ooh, that's nice looking. Yeah, kind of the front end looks like an older V8 supercar. Uh, all right, so we got a roll cage in here. Yeah, it's a little bit different dash. Uh, let's see what kind of power we got. Oh, no, I can't see the toll booth. <gasps> okay, we got really lucky there. Oh, this thing is a beast. I like it. I mean, it's not the fastest race car in the game, but it's got good speed, good pickup, and the handling, it feels nice. Like, I can sway, and you can really catch it. All right, here we go, and oh, yes, we had to crush it. Holy man, wait. So it looked like the front part of the chassis actually, did it break off or is it hanging on? Hold on, let's move the vehicle. Can I just drop it? Let's pause real quick. Okay, it's still attached, but it's like a separate part. Uh, I'm assuming that's a little bit different suspension piece for the touring car. But yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's barely hanging in there. Uh, goodbye, buddy. Boom, so we screwed that one up. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and try out the drag version of this. How's this thing? You know, I still picture it not being really that fast. Uh, oh, you know what? I might have lied to you guys. So yeah, you can uh, dig into the patch notes to kind of get a little bit better feel as to what all has changed with these cars. Also, uh, BMG always releases some really good videos. Oh, I forgot my NOS. Hold on, turn that on real quick. Yeah, BMG released some really good videos kind of explaining the different uh, items in the update. And you know what? I don't know a dev that actually splits up the videos like they do. Like, if you want to watch just the uh, H-Series remaster, they've got one for that. They got stuff on the map, the graphics. Uh, it's really cool seeing. Also, oh! <laughs> okay, so the engine is now in the front seat. Uh, we did the thing. Holy man, it is in the front seat. Well, the front seat... Well, never mind. I was going to say the front seat might be in the engine compartment. I think it's the opposite. So, yeah, uh, a lot of cool stuff. Let's go look at Utah real quick. Let's see. And like I said, you probably won't notice it on video, but I will show you guys Utah and Ultra, and I'll be really low to the ground, and we'll just see if we can notice a difference. Okay, so here we are in Utah. I'm not going to lie. My computer's actually screaming right now. Uh, it never really did this before. Uh, it definitely looks a little bit laggier. So, uh, real quick confession. I do have a, a new PC that was just built. And it's got a much more powerful graphics card. And this is going to be motivation to go ahead and swap these out. Because I'm definitely not running it at full frames anymore. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be a thing I need to do. So, hopefully by the next update video, uh, this map will be running a lot smoother. But, I must say, it is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go find a nice spot to get really low to the ground and just to admire it. Also, I'm going to crash the car... Okay, that was a weird crash. Well, yeah, we're going to cruise over and get really nice and low and just kind of observe. Uh, it looks absolutely spectacular. So, yeah, if you go look at BMG like five years ago and you look at it today, it is a night and day difference. And, folks, I'm even more excited for this game. So, this is just going to be a quick little update video. So, it just shows you guys the update is out. Uh, shows you a couple of the configs. If you guys have any ideas for the future update videos, comment down below. I do have some more BMG videos coming out that are non-update that I recorded before this. Uh, so, those will be out uh, this weekend. But, yeah, go check out the update. And we will see you guys next time.